Hi guys, welcome to Talks. My name is Federico and I'm a scientific advisor for IB USA. In this brief weekly podcast, we're going to look into interesting and applied research paper in the field of enology. So wherever you are at work or at home, just sit down, relax, have a glass of wine and follow me. Hi everybody, welcome to this new episode of IB Talk. This week we're going to discuss how varietal tiles influence the aromas of red wines. In particular, the article is titled Influence of Volatile Tiles in the Development of the Current Aromas in Red Wine that has been published in the Journal of Food Chemistry in 2014. In recent years, a recurrent black currant aroma has been described in red wines from southern France. While red berry aromas in red wine resulted from the additive and synergetic effect of compounds such as ethyl ester and acetate, and a recent study reporting the relation between ethyl leucot and blackberry flavor, for black currant, it was demonstrated that varietal tiles could be responsible for such aroma development in red wines. Tiles such as 4MMP and 3MH can bound to cysteine and glutathione. To become powerful volatile compounds, saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast need to release them from the odorless precursor present in grape and mast during alcoholic fermentation by the production of an enzyme called beta sulfurlease. Free MH then can be further metabolized to form the acetate, free MHA. The quantity of tiles present in wines depend on the quantity of precursor present in grape and must that varies depending on multiple factors. Over the years, the presence of these compounds was reported in wine, but their role and especially the sensory characteristic that they express in wine are not yet completely understood because of the difficulties involved in their analytical determination. Using a newly developed and more precise method, 4MMP, 3MH, and 3MHA were quantified in 10 red wines that may have typical but current aroma. These analyses were performed alongside descriptive sensory analysis. And using statistical method, they correlate varietal tile concentration with the sensorial characterization in order to emphasize the contribution of one or several varietal tiles in the black currant aromas of red wine. The characteristic of the wines are reported in the table and they were selected by eight winemakers in order to provide wines with and without the black currant aromas. These wines were used both for chemical analysis and after they were assessed by a trained panel, which for each sample had to determine the black current odor intensity. Also, a commercial red wine was first spiked with 4MP, 3MHA, and 3MH separately, then undergo a sensory test aimed at demonstrating the respective role played by each tile in the aromatic perception of the current aromas in the wine. Varietal tile concentration found in red wines range from around 4 to 54 nanogram per liter for 4 MMP, from 4 to 150 nanogram per liter for 3 MHA. The 3 MH concentration instead varied from 650 nanogram per liter to 11.5 microgram per liter. For each of these variable, wine were classified and clustered in four groups, significantly different and with increasing concentration from A to D. The quantitative descriptive analysis of the current aroma realized by the panel allowed an average black current intensity to be obtained for each sample, which were classified from A to D. When comparing the chemical and sensory classification, it appears that the black current aroma intensity 
is well correlated to increasing concentration of 4-MMP in wine. This classification also suggests a plateau of olfactory intensity of the blackcurrant aroma perceived in wines having a 4 MMP concentration uh, equal of 16 nanograms per liter. In the particular case of sample 102, the free MHA and free MH that are present at very high concentration in these samples may act as an answer of a blackcurrant aroma perception. This PCA graph shows the projection of the wines in the space defined by tiles concentration and blackcurrant aromas. And we can identify three different groups of wines in it. The first group is positively correlated to all variables, indicating that all tiles are involved in the blackcurrant aroma perception. In the second group, 4-MMP seems to be the main compound responsible for the perception of blackcurrant aromas. The last group was negatively correlated to all variables, in which tiles concentration present in the wines do not express a significant blackcurrant aroma. In the final classification test, sample spike with 4-MMP were always classified as having the blackcurrant aroma intensity most significantly different than the neutral wine. In comparison, a sample spike with 3-MHA was not significantly different to the neutral wine. Also, sample spike with 3-MH possess more blackcurrant aromas than the neutral wine samples, but at a much lower intensity than the sample spike with 4-MMP. The authors concluded that the wines riches in tiles develop a powerful aroma similar to blackcurrant, which can hide other aromas present in the wine. The presence of 4-MMP was identified as a key compound in the development of these blackcurrant aromas in the red wines. Also, the author discussed how yeast selection is important in tiles formation because they are not present in the beginning in the mass and the reductive wine making condition because tile are very sensitive to oxygen and to the reductive potential of the wine. That's it. Thanks for listening. If you like to see more of these videos, you can sign up for our YouTube channel or newsletter on our website. If you like to have more information about IB products to express the varietal characteristic of your grapes and the release of tiles during fermentation, please contact your sales representative. Stay safe, stay connected. My name is Federico, and this was IB Talks. Bye.